Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here, and today we're going to see some Destiny 2 gameplay that Blessius was kind enough to let me use on my channel. He is the man, he is the homie, he is everything and more. If you guys don't subscribe to Blessius already, you need to. The man makes quality content. I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. And yeah, also, I'm really sick. I don't know why, since it's summertime and I didn't travel like everybody else. Um, I didn't go to the event. I don't know why I'm sick. It sucks. I'm very disappointed. But, we have seen our first glimpse of Destiny 2. And, there are a lot of opinions. Of course, I know the biggest, you know, outcry from the community right now is the 30 frames per second on consoles. Now, bear in mind, for some reason, Bungie and Activision... They are not talking about Xbox Scorpio at all, like specs or anything. That's kind of weird to me that they wouldn't just outright say, you know, you, we're, we're doing 30 frames per second on all consoles. It's kind of weird. Now, if you guys do know, Black Ops 3 was 900p 60 frames per second on the Xbox One, while it was 1080p and 60 frames per second on the PS4, so it is not unheard of for games to have different resolutions on different consoles, so maybe, maybe the Xbox Scorpio will actually run the game at 60 frames per second. Bungie has also talked about how the PS4 Pro, the CPU is just not there. The GPU is extremely powerful, that's why they're able to run the 4K stuff, but the, the CPU, not quite there, but the Scorpio... I'm pretty sure is more powerful in the CPU department, so we'll see what happens. Um, I come from console, you know, I would love to play on PC. I'm just trash at keyboard and mouse, but maybe that's something I'll look into. I have a 750 Ti graphics card, and I would like to upgrade to like a 1050, um, you know, to record and play and all that other jazz. So maybe that's something I'll look into since I already have an i7. So, but I know for a lot of people... You know, it's just, it's hard to justify to pay all that money to just have one game that you would play. So, I don't know. I understand, you know, the limitations on the hardware and why Bungie has to make it 30 frames per second on console. The world's bigger, it's huge, it's ginormous, and everything runs down the same road map. So, it's not like they separated PvP and PvE into two different, like... Like, if you would start the uh, game up, you would have a choice between PvP and PvE. You know, if you'd pick PvP, then it would be 60 frames. If you pick PvE, it'd be 30 frames. They didn't do that. Um, so it's kind of sad. I'm sad, you know. But at the same time, we all make the jokes about 30 frames per second in Destiny 1. We played it for the three years, and it's literally the only game I play. So I don't know. I'm sad, but at the same time, God, does it really matter to me? I don't know. I understand... Why people are like, you should be better, you should do better. But I don't know. I know what the game is. The game is not PvP for first at all, so I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. I'm pretty sure you guys are salty. I'm kind of salty, but not like... It's definitely not going to deter me from buying the game on PlayStation or waiting until the PC version comes out since it's not coming out the same day. I'm not going to wait two months to play the game on PC, so, meep, I don't know, but, as you guys have been seeing, we've been watching some Crucible gameplay on, uh, Countdown on Midtown, and I'm pretty excited, since it's Search and Destroy, and Search and Destroy is kind of like my background, I used to love playing S&D on COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2, that was my jam, I loved it, so it's kind of cool, also you see how the primaries are abundant in this game since basically they got rid of the secondaries and moved everything down into the power weapon slot except for sidearms sidearms are still a uh, option to use as a primary so you have the first slot which is just regular guns you know and then the second slot is primary still but it's with elemental damage so that's kind of cool and then your power weapons are your grenade launchers and shotguns and snipers and stuff i think that is a fantastic design change We'll see in time if I'm wrong It's stupid, but I, I love that. It's more like Halo with power weapons and stuff. I think that's very smart, and the only people that get the weapons are the people that 
you know, the, the person that picks it up. Very cool. I like that idea. It's gonna, uh, you know, when they add private matches in, it's definitely gonna add a, a new dynamic to when people play competitively against one another. And yeah, I'm happy with the changes. I like the 4v4. I like how the map design looks on Midtown. I did see an interview with Luke Smith, and uh, they were talking about how the maps are now designed around the game mode, and that is fantastic. That is a huge deal. That's something that, you know, almost all shooters should be um, designed around is game modes on maps. And that's, uh, like in Battlefield, it used to be that Rush was the... Uh, bread and butter and like Bad Company 2. Rush and Bad Company 2 is absolutely fantastic and all the maps were designed for Rush with Rush in mind and then Conquest and stuff was they had like larger versions of the map and it was just the way Rush was designed was fantastic and I'm glad that they're bringing that philosophy into Destiny 2. I'm very happy with that. Alright we see him pick up the power weapon ammo. I'm not sure what he's running. I think it's a sniper rifle maybe we'll see if he pulls it out but i'm just oh and the new supers it seems like every super minus the um void walker nova bomb is roaming now as you can see you get multiple fists of havocs you just run around and stuff and i don't know what that guy was doing he wasn't even paying attention but everything seems to be roaming even your defender class you throw your shield around multiple times and stuff and you can like charge at people very cool I like that I like how they've redone I see I know a lot of people are upset that the game is not completely new and everything is not different and all the supers aren't different and I think that's fine you know destiny is destiny I don't expect it to change drastically you know from one to two it, it shouldn't be like that the game should not be completely different it should still feel look and act like destiny you know what how do you explain in the lore why your golden gun just suddenly disappeared and now you're like i don't know you i don't i don't know i don't know what people expected i'm i did not have my hopes up that we would have 45 new subclasses and you know we got rid of all the old ones because it's not part of the lore in the first place so i am super excited to use the arc strider subclass that thing looks awesome and dawn blade pretty cool i'm very happy that sun singer looks like it's actually you know going to be able to be offensive it looks like hammers now which is fine and i'm excited to use those two classes i think i think depending on the jumps and stuff i would love to see how the jumps feel between Warlock. I know that Titan skating and Warlock skating isn't a thing anymore, but I'm still excited to see the movement in this game. It doesn't seem... A lot of people in their gameplays that I've seen on YouTube and stuff doesn't seem like the verticality movement is a huge factor. There's more of the evades with the dashes and shade step and stuff like that that seem to be more abundant. So, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that change, you know, it was kind of ridiculous how fast classes could go on the maps, and I think that that was a huge balancing issue. In my personal opinion, yes, it's fun, but at the same time, it's extremely hard to balance weapons around people going around the map in 0.2 seconds. It's, eh. So, I do like how the movement looks in this game. I'm very excited for 4v4. I'm excited to play the beta 110%. I'm... Stoked. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And I'm also curious to see if they say that the Scorpio will run at 60 frames per second and how that will work out compared to how PlayStation has all these exclusives on their console. So what are people going to do? Do you go from getting extra loot to having 60 frames per second on a console? Some people just aren't comfortable with switching to PC and that's completely okay. You know, it's... It's your gaming experience. So I will be interested to see if Destiny now boosts up the Microsoft, you know, portfolio a little bit by offering 60 frames per second on their Scorpio because that's a huge thing for gamers. We'll see what happens with that. But that's it, guys. I'm done talking. I feel like I've talked enough. I will have more videos up. Let me know in the comments how you feel about Destiny 2, how you feel about the reveal. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.